Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. All things Middle Earth here with the video looking at the Commander Dwalin. In this video, we're going to look at the ideal troops to use with Dwalin, the ideal gear, the best factions that he's used with, and the different skill builds you can use with him. So regardless of what respect level you have him at, you can find some good use for him. If you enjoy videos like this on the Rise to War or just like the Lord of the Rings in general, then consider subscribing to join our fellowship here on YouTube. And if you enjoy this video, consider hitting that like button so as many people can see it as possible and hopefully we can get some good information out there to the community. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the video. <laughs> All right, if you have not seen one of my commander videos yet, then I uh, fret not. I'm going to walk you through the spreadsheet really, really quickly, and then we're going to get into the video. Uh, but basically, I make these spreadsheets. They're available in the description below. So all I have to do is click the link down there, and you can see the exact spreadsheet on your phone or computer or whatever you're using. And uh, it just breaks some of the different aspects we talk about. So in red over here, you can see we have builds, ideal gear, ideal troops and factions that the commander will benefit the most from. And then all those things are just broken down. So it's very, very simple. So anybody that wants to pick this up and look and reference back to it can do that. So that's linked in the description below. Uh, these are conversations that are taking place in our discord. So it's not just me making this stuff up. We're having these conversations with, uh, I think more than 50 people in our group right now. And so if you want to join us over there, the link to the discord is in the description. Uh, and all you have to do is let us know that you want to join our commander uh, build videos channel. Uh, I also stream over on Twitch. If you want to check that out, that's linked below. I know a lot of links below, uh, but some of the stuff gets tested live on stream. So if you want to check that out, uh, that'll be happening over there from time to time as well. But First things first, we're going to break down the different builds for Dwalin. All right, so we're going to look at the skills for Dwalin, and I'm going to make this kind of short and sweet because it's not really worth dragging this out. I'm just going to show you exactly what you should be doing. And again, I'll, I'll kind of show in the spreadsheet exactly how that looks as well. But the first build we're going to look at for Dwalin is a Respect 3 minimum build. It is going to be his best build, and that's going to be running Durin's Blood, which is going to be the priority skill, followed by Experienced Warrior. So Durin's Blood with both of its adjacent skills here, and then Experienced Warrior with both of those adjacent skills, or at least as many of them as you can do, depending on the level. Uh, for my Dwalin, I have him at pretty high respect. I have him at Respect 10, actually which is not crazy, crazy difficult for uh, for a tier one character. But if you're free to play, uh, it's going to take you a while to get respect 10 for for a character. But I have him at respect 10 and I have uh, I have given him his four points of the technique level. So at level 43 for him at respect 10 with technique level maxed out, I can max out all of those skills. So the two main skills with 15 points each each and then 28 skill points going into the other skills. So that's kind of to give you an idea of where I'm at. Uh, obviously, if he's at level 50, that's going to give you seven more points from where I have. So you can you know, have him at respect three, for example. If you had him at respect three and you had him at technique level four and level 50, you'd be able to max those out. So just giving you an idea of, of what that might look like. But again, looking back at the spreadsheet, just to make sure that makes sense. You can see here, we're looking at the commander damage build right here. And we're just going to start with the one and work our way down. So one, two, three and then four, five, six, that experienced warrior. And this build, as you can see right here, is going to be ranked at an A+. So this is a very, very good build for Dwalin. It's his best build, and definitely what you should be running if you have him at respect three. The next build we're gonna look at for Dwalin is this one here in the C column, and that is his anti-burn and healing build, specifically used for the heart of a hero events fighting against dragons and balrogs. Uh, now, while this build is still very solid, it should not be run over the commander damage build. It's just one that you can switch to when you're doing Heart of a Hero, but that's going to be running the Musician perk here with Relief and Level Headed, followed by the Warrior of the Lonely Mountain. Uh, the Longbeard and Giant Slayer uh, abilities are nice, but they're not necessary for this build. If you have Warrior of the Lonely Mountain, 15 points here, and the Musician with both of these Relief and Level Headed maxed out, you're going to do just, just fine with heart of a hero but that is uh, again it's it's a good build but it's not better than the commander damage build and it's really utility mostly used for the heart of a hero but we have that one ranked at a a minus here just because of how good it is at heart of a hero uh, but in terms of like comparatively to the commander damage um, if, if it was used as a as a regular build it would not be as good uh, as this one but that's going to be used just for heart of a hero next up is going to be the commander damage build at respect zero or one and so uh, obviously you've seen the best build from his commander damage Damage. So you're going to basically run half of that build until you get him to respect three. So if you just full pulled Dwalin 
and you want to use them, you're going to want to go into experienced warrior and run that. Now, obviously, if you have extra points, musicians not going to hurt you at all. It's going to be fine. Uh, but you're going to definitely, uh, for the commander damage build, go into experienced warrior first. And this build is going to be ranked at about a B minus. So not quite as good as the uh, skill that includes Durin's blood and experienced warrior, but still not bad. And something that, you know, a lot of commanders really need to have high respect levels and be at respect five and have a lot of points. Uh, Dwelling can still do pretty well with just experienced warrior just starting out early game. If you start, maybe you just started out as airborne, Dwellin's your first commander. Uh, running experienced warrior are going to get some great use out of him. And lastly, the last uh, skill build we're going to look at, this one's going to be ranked at a C, so just a step below the experienced warrior build, and that is just the troop healing build. You could run with him at respect 0-3. Again, I would suggest you run the experienced warrior build, but this is going to be musician with relief and level-headed, uh, but it's not going to be as good as the commander damage build, even half of the commander damage build. So uh, definitely focus on experienced warrior if you're in the R0 through 1 category. If you have an R3, great, you can run the ideal build. And if you have my R5, that means during Heart of a Hero, you can switch to music Musician and Warrior of the Lonely Mountain and run that and take uh, you know some crazy, crazy amounts of gold over the weekends. But uh, other than that, those weekend events fighting Balrogs, you're going to run a, want to run during Spain with Experienced Warrior. Now, for the gear for Dwalin, we could spend all day talking about, about gear. And in fact, in most of my videos, I spend more time talking about, about gear than I probably should because gear is so uh, dependent on what type of player you are. If you're free to play, you're going to have a lot less options. If you're a whale, you're going to have a lot more options. But at the end of the day, you just need to, to know what to focus on. So for Dwalin, you're going to want to focus on might and, and weapons and effects that increase the damage of the commander and any extra skills that help him do more damage. Uh, a lot of the gear that I'm going to suggest is going to also help dwarven troop types. We're going to talk about that when we get into the ideal troop conversation. Uh, but again, just focusing mainly on might, even if you're just running blue gear, if you get something that has all might on it, that is fantastic. So a great first option for Dwalin is going to be the Warhammer. That's going to be a purple option for him. A gold option for the hand item could be the Axe of Kaza Doom. A good item for the chest beast, you could run the Durin's Plate. That's going to have a lot of might and also give you some army defense for the dwarves. For the head accessories, the helmet, you could run the Iron Bassinet. That's the gold item. Or you could run the full helm, which is just a full might-focused helmet that you could run with Dwalin. And then for the accessories, it's a little bit more tricky because uh, it's kind of harder uh, with the accessories I've found to get them. So there are a couple options options like the Erebor's Pride or the Ent Calabash that can just give a lot of might. So those are great options if you have them. Uh, but I, I'm running right now, as you can see, the uh, the worn out smoking pipe because I don't have either of those really, really strengthened up. I actually I do have the, the Ent Calabash here. You can see it's 13 might. That's great. Uh, but I'm actually running the worn out smoking pipe to give a little bit of healing. Uh, but again, running the commander damage build, it's not really something to totally focus on. Uh, something like the Hith Lane is going to have Might on it as well. So that can be that can be a fine option for Dwalin if you do have him above that respect zero level. But again, uh, gear is so just dependent on what you have and, and what commanders. You know, I have a lot of different gear on some of my better commanders. And so for Dwalin, maybe if he's a secondary commander for you especially, uh, don't worry about it too much. Just get things on him that are going to work with uh, giving him extra might because as you can see compared to his other stats here, his might is very, very good at 2.0 per level and you want to get that as high, as high as possible. All right, and lastly on the list, we're actually going to combine the last two points. We have the ideal troops used with Dwalin and the ideal faction for Dwalin. Now, I don't think these have to be set in stone, so I think Dwalin can get used regardless of, of where you have him or what troops you have available, but I think Dwalin is going to get the best and the most and the most easy use playing as Erebor and playing with the dwarves for troops. Now, none of his skills require that he plays with dwarves, and so you can use other units, especially if you're running the commander damage build, then you just want Dwalin to do damage. So any troops that are tanky, I think, are going to be really beneficial. But when we start looking at the gear that's best on Dwalin, the different dwarven types of purple and gold gear, all of them affect dwarves. And so if you do run something like, I don't know, if you're running uh, as Gondor and you're using the Guard of the Tower, they're fantastic. They're tanky. They can be anti-cab. That's great. But they're not going to get me the benefits that the dwarves would get from a lot of the gear that's ideal for Dwalin. So again, if you only have blue gear and it's not as big of a deal, uh, you could probably not worry about it as much. But if you're running Dwalin as one of your main commanders uh, and you have some of that better gear on him, you're going to find some better usage out of the dwarves. And if you're playing as Erebor, you're going to have the dwarven tier 4 troop available to you. And playing as Erebor, you're just going to have dwarves in general available to you right away. Where playing as Linden right now, dwarves are the last thing available for me. So 
playing as Linden, if you start out as Linden, Dwallen may not be the best banner for you to start with. Now, once you get your main hull up a little bit higher and have access to the dwarves, that it could be fine uh, if you have plenty of gear to go around, whatever. Uh, but playing as a faction like the elves uh, may have a little bit harder time with Dwallen, but he's still a solid commander and he's not limited to dwarves. I just think the dwarves are going to get a little bit extra benefit from the gear that you're going to ideally have on him. But that doesn't mean you couldn't run him with a combination of the heralds and uh, the sentinels, for example, and him not perform well because he's the one doing the damage. But I do think he's going to get the most use playing with Erebor, with the dwarves. Again, if you put the tier four dwarven, the iron warriors with Dwallen, it's kind of ridiculous because he is extremely tanky, extremely durable. Um, he's going to go 10 rounds and he's going to do a lot of commander damage. So again, those are my suggestions for Dwallen. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. And again, if you want to join us for these conversations, uh, you should definitely check the discord out and all you got to do is join and either message me or, or message in the general chat and say, Hey, I'd like to join the build videos channel, uh, so I can help uh, be a part of these conversations. We're trying to work through all the tier one commanders first. Uh, but then the goal is to, to talk through every single commander. So um, again, if you want to be a part of that, it'd be greatly, greatly appreciated because uh, one person can only know so much. So it was really beneficial with Dwallen. I actually have him at Respect 10. I was able to, to try him out. I, I really have used him quite a bit. So he's a fun commander to make a video on. Uh, but some of the previous commanders we did, like Ugthak, uh, I had a lot less experience with. So the more people we can have come together, I think the better information we can get out to the community to make sure people are getting the best used out of their commanders. Uh, and that's kind of the whole point of this channel is just to provide the best information for players so you can enjoy the game uh, to its fullest potential. So again, if you do enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing and if you stuck around until this long, uh, maybe hit that like button to support the video and help more people find, uh, find the content. But that's going to do it for me today. Appreciate your time and I hope to see you in a future video. Uh -huh.